Alzheimer's worries all of us, and for good reason. The longer you live, the greater your risk of Alzheimer's, explains Dr. Greg Cole of UCLA, a national center of excellence. Anyone older than 65 is at great risk of Alzheimer's disease. It rises to nearly 50% when you're 85. That may sound pretty ominous, but the evidence for prevention is mounting. Identical twins have already done it, where one twin gets the disease and the other twin, with their own intervention program, has succeeded in not getting the disease or delaying the disease by at least 10 years. The earlier you start, the better your chance of altering the onset and severity of Alzheimer's. Experts say start in your 50s for a disease that peaks in its late 70s. Here are the key steps to prevention. The first step you can take is to know your family history. Family history of Alzheimer's disease is one of the biggest risk factors and will help you to decide how many steps you want to take. Step two, listen to your doctor about treating high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol. Step three, exercise. Studies have shown that people who exercise more than three times a week have reduced incidence of Alzheimer's disease. Step four, diet. Diet has been found to be another important determinant of Alzheimer's disease and, not surprisingly, Mediterranean diet looks like it reduces Alzheimer's disease risk. Step five, consider statins if you're at risk for heart disease. Statins lower the bad cholesterol. We have epidemiological studies of communities where people are taking statins and versus those who are not, and the statins appear to be protective. This is just an association. Clinical trials comparing statins to placebo sugar pills in Alzheimer's disease patients so far have been inconclusive. Step six, stay engaged. Study after study has shown that people with higher education and more mental activity, um, more social engagement have reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease. Step seven, consider the right supplements with your physician. Here are some supplements that may reduce your risk for Alzheimer's disease. One, fish oil. Two, folate. Three, curcumin. Four, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. The best advice is to undertake as many of these steps as your doctor advises. Many of these prevention steps appear in the scientific literature to synergize with each other. It takes 30 years for these measures to play out. I've taken all these to heart and take most of these measures myself. It's a good bet, and it's one I hope you'll consider with your physician as well.